every single day in our office, we see people with post-COVID inflammation. It usually starts out like, I don't know why I'm having these this anxiety. I don't know why I'm having these heart issues. I don't know why I'm having my hair fall out. I don't know why I'm having this new joint pain. And then when we examine them, we often find post-COVID inflammation. Now it's just one of many, many things that we can find because we're working with people with chronic issues that are triggered by bacteria, viruses, parasites, heavy metals, uh, toxins, environmental things like mold and dust. We're working with all of that, but showing up in there now, of course, is post-COVID inflammation. And I want you to know that there's two mechanisms that are happening there, and a simple exam, hands-on exam, involving the brain and different reflex points will show us exactly what's going on. So we will see two things happening. One, a activation of predisposition toward a certain disease pattern. Meaning if you're predisposed toward kidney disease or heart disease or other things, that COVID can activate that predisposition. And we have a pathway with the brain and working with a person metabolically and nutritionally to help, uh, help them in that area on those predispositions. The second thing is, if you have a predisposition to autoimmune responses in your body, and I'm not talking necessarily about frank autoimmune disease as defined by a medical diagnosis, which usually takes place after many years, by the way. I'm talking about autoimmune responses in the body that we will pick up on our brain exam and be guided by the reflex points, and we will know that there's post-COVID inflammation stirring an autoimmune response that may show up for some people in terms of anxiety, in terms of uh, cardiac issues, and of course we want you to get whatever appropriate medical evaluations also. It may show up in terms of losing hair, it may show up of course as loss of sense of taste and smell. It can show up all kinds of ways, but you have to know that there's two mechanisms going on, a, a predisposition toward a certain disease being triggered or an autoimmune response being triggered. And most people go one direction or the other. Uh, I haven't seen too many people that go both directions. But this is something we're working with people on daily, and I expect we will be daily in 2022. So, uh, and we use specific nutrition with that, nutrition that calms vascular inflammation, nutrition that improves uh, energy production in the body, mitochondrial energy, that's the energy producing parts of the cell. So we work with all of that so that people can get their health restored and can be healthy going forward. And we have lots of videos with more information along these lines. I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined.